yeah. Fact, in terms of tonight's uh, appearance, uh, in terms of the performance there tonight, how how did you sum up the situation at half time? Uh, a bright start from Burnley uh, in terms of the opening 30 minutes, but were you sort of pleased to get them into the dressing room at half time and maybe get them uh, up their levels of performance for the second half, which they did? Yeah, it's not. You have to be credit to them because they were pushing and we know that physically they are very strong and then they push you all the time. Then uh, we tried to manage. Uh, they didn't have clear chances, but they, we didn't have the control. Uh, the chances that we had in the in the final third, we were not precise and then it was not uh, great for us. Then we changed a little bit in the second half in terms of uh, the attitude, the way that we wanted to keep the ball and pass the ball. And then when we scored the goal, we changed 4-3-3, and then we had uh, more chances to keep the ball and to create a situation that they couldn't cope with that. So we scored two more goals, and we could score even a couple of, uh, of goals more. So I think it's great reaction. Uh, the team was doing well. The fans were happy. Uh, everybody was pushing. Uh, and at the end, is the way that uh, you can change games. I suppose Andros Townsend's goal, a moment of magic to light up any sort of stadium. And the crowd was really rocking after that goal. And he really drove it on from there and Demary starts a goal after. But Andros Townsend's goal really made that sort of belief that tonight was going to be your night and the three points were going to be yours. Yeah, for sure that when you have a player with quality that they go forward and then they can create what we have seen today. The fans uh, will be really pleased. So you have players that they have the quality, but at the same time, uh, they are working really hard. So that is uh, two things together that means success. So you have players that uh, they can uh, work for the team and they can make the difference. And uh, I think everybody is happy with them and with the rest of the team. Ben Ransom, please. Uh, hi, Rafa. Hi. Uh, just following up from that on. On Andros's goal, and obviously you're signing him in the summer, um, he said on the telly just a moment ago that his mum had put together a compilation of some of his uh, best goals from his career and told him to believe in himself. Did you ever have any doubts that he could roll back the years and do, do something similar? Because it's a strike we've seen from him many times, but a little bit ago, if that makes sense. When I decided uh, that he could be an important player for us, I was convinced that uh, he will be or he would be because... He was uh, my player for some months in Newcastle and then I met him and I knew him in terms of um, his quality, that you can see that, uh, it's for everyone to see that. But also he's a professional, he's keen to learn, so then uh, I think we are now having a group of players uh, that they want to improve and they are uh, happy if we want to work harder. So he's one of these players and I didn't have any doubt that he will do well for us. And can I just ask you about the absence of Dominic Calvert-Lewin as well? Um, you seem to really miss him, particularly in the first half. Um, I mean, how much of a loss was he to the way you were trying to play? And I know you said earlier you hoped to have him back in a couple of weeks. Is, is that the realistic time frame or could it be longer? could be longer because uh, you know that he broke his toe and then he was playing, in, uh, playing with uh, injection, with pain, and it was not easy for him. He was not training like uh, the rest of the team and he was... Uh, Oh, that is for me the reason why he has the uh, he had the problem, and still we have to wait. So it will be for me it will be more than two or three weeks. Thanks, Ben. Um, Alistair McGowan, please. Hi, Rafa. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can can hear I just ask you about the um, the sort of challenge on Richarlison by James Tarkowski, and also. Um, Richarlison's body check on Ben Me in the first place. What were your reactions to, do to th those two incidents? I didn't see the second one that you say. I saw the tackle. I think the tackle was uh, quite uh, strong. Then when you, you know that the ball is there, but behind the ball is the ankle, you can get one or the other one, or you can get both, but uh, it's quite dangerous. So it's just this kind of thing that uh, you have to be careful. So one thing is to be physical and, and uh, to challenge. That is okay. But the other one is uh, these kind of tackles that they are quite dangerous for the, the integrity of the, of the opponent. What did you say to Martin Atkinson afterwards? Are you, are you worried at all that maybe the referees are being too lax this season? No, I think that they, were, they are trying to do their best in terms of the idea for this season. But uh, it's just to analyse what is a, 
a challenge, a fair challenge, and what is a dangerous challenge. So I think it's a, something that they know, and I'm sure that they will analyze this and they, they will maybe have a, another idea. Okay, are there, are there any further questions? Carl Markham. Hi, Rafa. Hi. Hi. Um, th this, this side, or a lot of this side, had only won two, two games when being behind in the last 59 games. You've done it twice in, in two successive home games. What, what, have you, what have you done to this, these players, this team? What have you said to them to, to change that mentality? To be fair, not too much, because I think that uh, you can see from the first minute, the first game, and every single game, that uh, the commitment is there, the players, they, they want to, to win, they want to compete, uh, they have the desire to, to do well. And when you have a, a problem like a goal that you concede, they want to, to change things, they want to react. And I think the fans appreciate that. And as soon as uh, you score the goal, everybody is behind the players, and the players, they give even an extra uh, percentage if they, if they can do it. So. Uh, really pleased because that is the way, hopefully, the next one. We can score goals and then we don't concede and it will be easier also for my health. Thanks, Carl. Dominic King? Rafa, um, you looked like you enjoyed the third goal. You, you had a little moment with um, Richarlison. I mean, just can you talk us through your emotion with the, uh, with the way the fans were and the noise inside the stadium? Look like you really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think uh, every manager wants to win, but when you win at home in front of your fans and the way that we are winning already, uh, you have to enjoy it for sure. And then uh, with Richarlison, I would say that he did great. And then uh, I wanted to also give him some support because he, it was not easy for him to play against these two centre backs. And then he was fighting, and uh, it was a pity that we couldn't gave him more options in the first half, but uh, I was really pleased with him and I support that the fans also will be happy with him.